in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we welcome you to the eighth day of the novena in preparation for our parish feast the theme of today's novena is saint anthony apostle of forgiveness a reading from the prophet isaiah chapter 55 verses 7 to 9 let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts let him return to the lord that he may have mercy on him and to our god for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways says the lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts the word of the lord thanks be to god in the basilica of saint anthony of padua italy there is a large room called the penitence area a place for confession where many people go to confess their sins where they approach the sacrament of reconciliation there are friars who hear confession from early morning till late evening people come there to restore their relationship with god for this reason pope paul 6 called the basilica a spiritual clinic saint anthony is often called the apostle of individual confession he spent a lot of time in the confessional he calls confession a gate to heaven we know that medicine and therapy can heal a wounded or a sick body but we also know that only god's grace can heal a wounded or sick soul that is why jesus left us the sacrament of penance to heal our spiritual wounds which we call sin the parable of the prodigal son reveals the love that the father has for his children he does not will our destruction but wants each one of us to live a life of abundant happiness let us respond to this love by returning to the father by making peace with him during this pandemic we are not able to make individual confession to the priest but this should not be an excuse to not reconcile with god our surrender to him is a sign that we are willing to return to his love like the prodigal son we can say i will arise and go to my father and i will say to him father i have sinned against heaven and before you i'm no longer worthy to be called your son treat me as one of your hired servants and he arose and he came to his father
वी विल नाउ रिसाइट द नवीना Navina prayers to Saint Anthony invocation I salute you Saint Anthony lily of purity ornament and glory of Christianity I salute you great saint cherub of wisdom and seraph of divine love I rejoice at the favors God has so liberally bestowed on you in humility and confidence I have recourse to you that through your powerful intercession God will grant my desires. Saint Anthony, loved and honored by the divine child Jesus, obtain what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, powerful in word and works, obtain what we ask of you. Saint Anthony, attentive to those who invoke you, obtain what we ask of you. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Pray for us, blessed Saint Anthony, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who did glorify your faithful confessor Saint Anthony with perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may receive through his intercession. through Christ our lord amen a most efficacious prayer to saint anthony o holy saint anthony gentlest and kindest of all the saints your burning love of god your exalted virtues and your great charity towards your fellow creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous power such as were given to no other saint miracles waited on your word and that word you were ever ready to speak at the request of those in trouble the anxious prayer of bitter trial was never addressed to you in vain to the sick you gave back health you restored what was lost the sorrow stricken were the objects of your tender compassion even the dead you raised to life when the wounded heart cried out to you from the depths of its anguish when on earth nothing was impossible to you except not to have compassion on those in distress and sorrow encouraged by this thought and convinced of the efficacy of your intercession i kneel before your holy image and full of confidence i implore you to obtain you can now mention your intention the answer to this prayer may require a miracle even so are you not the saint of miracles who when on earth had but to speak and the mightiest wonders were wrought o gentle and loving saint anthony you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy whisper my prayer into the ears of the infant jesus who loved to linger in your arms one word from you and my prayer will be granted o oh, speak that word and gratitude of my heart will ever be yours our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from all evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen saint anthony pray for us